CARICOM and Canadian leaders opened discussions on matters relating to Haiti and regional crime and security as the Canada-hosted summit continued in Ottawa. The session was initially addressed by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau as CARICOM Chairman Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt left Canada for Dominica as the island comes under threat of severe tropical weather. Trudeau thanked all who are working with Haiti towards an effective resolution of the crisis. Much of our time will be focused on Haiti, where we're going to be making sure we're all well prepared uh, in, the, uh, in the, uh, uh, the stability and the prosperity that we need to continue to build and restore uh, in Haiti. Canada is extremely grateful for CARICOM's eminent persons group efforts in facilitating a national political dialogue in Haiti. During this session, we will welcome the views of the Haitian delegation and other CARICOM member states on the matter. I also want to recognize your sustained leadership as CARICOM in responding to the ongoing crisis, including with active collaboration and strengthening the Haitian National Police. Speaking on behalf of CARICOM, Trinidad and Tobago's Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley spoke of the growing gun violence affecting the region to varying extents. Security and the whole question of safety are two big primary issues in the CARICOM, especially in places like Trinidad and Tobago, Jamaica, and to a lesser extent the other territories. In recent times, we have seen an explosion in the use of illegal arms and ammunition on a daily basis. In fact, um, the data now shows that we're losing by violent um, killings about 15 people a day in the CARICOM region, nearly all of it from the use of firearms. And there's a proliferation in recent times of assault weapons. So the instance of shootings usually end up with more than, with multiple casualties, many deaths. And um, we believe that this is fundamental to any developmental initiative because if you don't have a sense of safety, if you don't have security to what you have in, around you, family and otherwise, the other things are wishful thinking. Um, the situation has in fact been worsening. I don't know that I've seen it getting better anywhere. And now, because of the operationalization of gangs and the relative, I would say, ease with which the arms and ammunition coming into the region, gangs have been arming themselves more and more efficiently and effectively. Matters of police training and management, coastal patrolling and cybercrime fighting were all on the agenda. The St. Kitts and Nevis delegation is among CARICOM member states attending the CARICOM Canada Summit. Glenn Bart reporting for SK Newsline.